Add a new script to your trail renderer game object. I called mine Trail Collisions. The obvious solution would be to make sure the game object has both a trail renderer and an edge collider component, then storing a reference to them, and finally setting the collider points to match the trail's positions every frame. There's an issue with this though, which is that since the trail is following the game object's position, the collider is moving with it as well. To avoid this, we need the edge collider to be in a different game object where its position should be fixed. So instead of adding an edge collider 2D to the same game object where the script is at, I will create a new game object with an edge collider 2D component and store a reference to that component as my collider variable. One thing to consider is that trail renderers can be set to auto-destruct, which would leave an unused game object with a trailless collider. To avoid this, you can use mono behaviors on destroy method to make sure it also destroys the collider component's game object. What I did to reuse unused colliders is to instead add them to a list when the trail game object is destroyed, and when creating a new collider, I first tried to get one from that list. I make sure to set the component off and on when adding to and getting from the pool to avoid leaving any unintentional collisions. I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that you subscribe. I hope that you subscribe. I hope that you can have a good time regardless if you subscribe.